In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to add animated titles and text to your videos to make them more engaging and get more viewers. Let's hop right in. All right, so I actually have a project here for my mortgage business where we're gonna highlight all the different closings and clients that we've helped throughout the year. Um, should be pretty fun to go back and recap all this. So let me show you what we have going on. So first thing, is I like to capture the attention of the audience. So I've created this picture in the past and I was like, hey, I can, I can reuse this. So I just wanna animate it a little bit. And with Final Cut Pro, what you can do is you can click on Crop and Ken Burns. And with this, you can click, uh, select the start point and the end point. And what it does, is it just animates that all for you. You don't have to do anything. So it's just a cool way to highlight a certain area or move people's eyes to what you want them to look at. And in this case, home buyers, watch this. Like I want people that are looking for a home to watch this video, okay? And so now we're going to do the same thing for the next one. I'm gonna get rid of this. Here we go. Aha! So we animated that one as well. So I'm gonna go into there and show you the same thing we've just animated that clip or that picture. So I didn't have to shoot any extra video for this. But what you guys are here for is what just popped up on the screen and that is the animated text. And everybody's like, how do you do it? How do you do it? Here's my secret, I buy them. <laughs> I'm lazy, I'm lazy. I don't wanna create these. I don't wanna have to go into After Effects or um, for Apple, it's motion and animate all of this stuff. I'd rather spend 20 or 40 bucks on a pack and then I just collect these over time based off of the looks that they have. And so you can see right now I'm on the cinematic, which we're gonna use here in a second. And then the one I was using here is the ultimate titles pack. Um, and you can just search in Google if you use After Effects or if you use Premiere or if you use Final Cut like me, just search for title plugins, that's it. And then you can just find the ones you like for the price that you want. There's a, I bought them from all kinds of different places. And if the look of them, um, on their website looks good, then that's really how they come out. And let's see, I'm using, I think the neon one here, this guy right here. So I'm using this neon. And then what I've done is you can see that this is a lot different than this, is with these different plugins for the titles, I've just moved the position around. So I'm just gonna take that and then for this, this helped word or weave, I've just moved it to where I want it. And then there was a third word and I just deleted it. I mean, it's that simple. And once I have that, um, oh, and I also removed the build out because in this, it's gonna be fast moving video and I don't have time to have the build in and the build out and have people be able to read it and get my point across. So let me show you what I mean here. If I have the build out selected, Watch how hard this is to read. See, so like it's kind of there and then it's gone, right? And like to me, I, I don't know if there's enough time for people to get the information in. So what I'm doing is just only animating the in, not the out. And this one also comes with a background, but we don't want the background. So we've removed the background. And there's a little bonus in here. And what that is, is a background layer. So let me show you. So sometimes it's hard to read the text, right? You can't read that. So I wanna add in a layer. So I'm going to remove that for now and I'm gonna show you guys how I do this. So if you're in uh, Premiere, it's gonna be a little bit different, but relatively the same. You just gotta find whatever your solid is. And this is just a solid background. I'm gonna pop this in underneath my text. And then we're gonna trim it to fit just that clip. That's not the color I want. I want this to be solid black. Okay, we are solid black. And that looks good. But we got the same problem is it's just another background and we can't see the picture. So what we're gonna do is we are actually going to crop this. So we're gonna crop the top and just bring that right there. And I also like to lower the opacity so you can see through. I think it just gives, it's more appealing. 
So we're gonna go to, I think I like 85%. So I'm just gonna type in 85%. And we'll play that. That works, right? But it's a little boring. It's a little boring. So here's what I do. Um, I like to nest these first with a compound clip. And this is kind of like taking that and putting it in its own little like container. So you can kind of do more with it. I found that it just works better when you do that. So we're gonna click keyframe here on the opacity and we're also gonna keyframe the position. And then we're gonna move the playhead forward until probably right about there. I'm gonna click these again and then we're gonna go back to the beginning and then I'm gonna move this down with Y just below and then opacity down. I was gonna try something else, but we'll see how this looks. Whoop. So it just comes up, just adds a little different effect, right? So I think I'm just gonna leave it with that. That looks pretty good. And I have a whole kind of series of words that I wanna put out, so then we're gonna move on. So what I've done here is I've made it a little simpler. I like how this animates in, there's a lot going on. You always wanna to try to catch attention, especially on social media within the first three to five seconds. But I think if you keep doing just pure flash, 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 it's gonna take away from your overall message. In some videos, it is cool to just constantly be flashy, 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 but I want to just really hone in on the message now. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a much simpler title, which for this one is the cinematic where is that guy? See, sometimes you just get overrun. You have like too many, too many plugins and too many things and you can't find what you want and it's hard to keep track. So like mentally, you just like, sometimes I'll just find stuff like, oh, I forgot that I had that and I'll start using it. So here, it's in here. I don't know which one it was. I just kind of go through and look at the ones that I think are gonna fit for the story. Um, but it was one of these, right? And so same sort of thing, I can go over here and go into the settings. And this one, you can adjust the animation in speed, the animation out speed. You can toggle on the animation to start and the animation out. So again, I've taken the animation out off because this is only gonna be a second and a half per clip. And I want there to be enough time. So what I'm gonna do to kind of switch it up is change the font and the color, see? And so maybe what I'll do is I'll go back to this one. Let's change this back to white. And white is six Fs in the hex code if you ever wanted to know that. And so it's just like, boom, hundreds of local residents. And so maybe I'll change this font to something else. That's kind of cool. And this needs to be here. So it fits within that background. Hundreds of local residents. And I might go through and add in like a different animation, maybe going the other way. I'm not sure. It's just, everything of this is just trial and error. Same thing as you can see, I've animated that background again, uh, just like I did over here. And here's what's cool. If I go to show video animation, you can see my keyframes here. So I can click on the keyframe and you can see that at the end, I put the keyframe 100% and then I move the Y um, positioning to negative 62.2. And then at the beginning, um, the X is moved over. So it was up in the corner, let's see if I can get the, the screen right, up here, and then it kind of like moves down. And that's just like, I kind of messed up because I didn't adjust it, but I'm like, oh, that's kind of cool how it animates down or down that way. Um, so that was pretty neat. But that's really, 
that's the secrets. It's not that sexy is I don't build all these from scratch. I could uh, maybe, but it would take a ton of time. So I recommend if time is valuable to you and you're going to be doing this yourself, go out, buy some plugins, add to them over time. Um, I've started off with just one plugin pack and just kept adding and adding and adding. And Jessica just loves it when I spend money on um, title packs. She thinks it's like so cool. <laughs> no, she hates it, but I love this stuff. So I just keep adding to my collection over time. Um, I don't want to bore you with going through every one of these things. I wanted you to just get the gist of how this works. So if you want to see what the end video is going to look like, go below and follow me on Facebook and Instagram so that you'll be notified when I post these and then also subscribe and hit the notification bell here on YouTube so that you'll know when I put out my next piece of content. Uh, so you're always up to date and in the know and make sure you comment below. Let me know what future videos you want me to make that's going to help you with your video and your creative side. So thanks for watching this one and I'll see you guys on the next one.